Okay, now that we've seen the release of a Jelly Bean onto the Galaxy Nexus, we thought we'd have a look at the raw Jelly Bean Android experience on the, on the Nexus compared to the TouchWiz skin on the Galaxy S3. Just have a look at uh, some of the differences. Okay, so let's have a look at, we'll start with the Nexus. Here you can see the home screen. Now what we, what we can see here is the lock. If we press that, you can see there are three options to unlock on the side here, Google Now on the top, and the camera on the side. So what we're gonna do is uh, just unlock it over here. And we present it with the home uh, page over here. Now with the GS3, we're gonna turn that on. As you can see, there's no actual uh, lock button and you can actually touch it. It's touch sensitive and actually creates this nice little ripple effect. And you can actually uh, swipe to unlock anywhere on the screen or you can, actually, you can also use your finger to swipe one of the icons which also takes you to a shortcut. So what we're going to do is just go straight into also the home screen over there. Okay, right away you can see on the Nexus that there are three um, screen buttons, back, home, and the app switching. So on the uh, GS3, the biggest difference is that those three buttons live uh, below the screen itself. So you can see here what we have on the side is a menu button, um, the home button on the side. So if we, for example, move it and we go back, that becomes home, just like we move that and that becomes home. And then the back button is on the right hand side as opposed to the left hand side. Now, um, well, for app switching, you can see here that that little button there gives you all the recently opened apps. Over here, the way you enter that function is to hold down the hard button. And then you also have all of these here too. Now the other difference is that you can choose to remove them all, whereas you'd have to go one by one here like this. Over here you can remove them all or go straight to the task manager, which will release memory, but will actually keep all of the recently owned applications in memory. So that's quite an interesting difference as well. Okay, so the next part is swipe down, and that's something that uh, Android's done for quite a while. And we know obviously that um, other phones like Apple are doing it now as well. But when you swipe down on, um, on the Nexus, you can see here that there's a lot more information. It's quite informative. Um, the, the very first notification, or the most recent I should say, has a slight um, openness to it. So you can actually close that and expand other notifications. For example, there's some messages there. So this is a new Jelly Bean improvement and it allows you to do many more things. For example, if you've got the screenshot, I can then choose to share that from within notifications. It's actually quite easy to use. Um, now when we go to the GS3, the difference there, when we open it up, is that we've got toggles on the top. So we can turn Wi-Fi on and off, GPS on and off, sound. We can, we can uh, choose to rotate the screen automatically, Bluetooth on and off, etc. Now here you do have two settings buttons. One is up here. That takes you to settings and you also have the settings button over here for Samsung. And you can, as you can see there, you then have pretty much the same settings. They're just skinned a little differently. So let's go back home again. We'll go back home, down there and here. Now the other difference between Nexus and the GS3 is that you're fixed to five home pages on the Nexus. So you can see here I can move across from one, two, three, four and five and you've got a little blue button there that shows you that you're actually on that particular page. You've actually got seven on the um, Galaxy S3. Now on the Nexus, you can't actually change those pages around. I would have to physically move each and every one of those um, icons across. Much easier to do um, a bit more management of your home pages on the GS3. All I have to do is pinch, and there you've got your seven screens. I can then move those screens around. So I can move that here. I can even bin it if I wanted to. Um, but it's very easy to move these around. And the rule for GS3 seems to be that it always, the home page is always the third button out of the seven. I would have thought the fourth would make sense because that's in the middle, but that's what they've chosen to do. Um, then we've got the app page. So if we go into the app store, we can see here. We go there and we go into apps. The big difference here really is that on the Nexus, we've got a, a direct link back to Google Play on the top right hand corner. We don't have that on the GS3. What we do have is a downloaded button over here. Now, as we know, with the GS3, you actually have your own Samsung, Samsung apps market. It's a bit different where you can uh, try things out that um, aren't necessarily on the general um, Google Play market. So that in itself is quite interesting between the two, between Roar and, um, and Samsung. Okay. 
And then the last thing I wanted to show was something um, that I thought was quite interesting that these two don't, that actually have in common as opposed to are uh, different, and that's called S-Beam. So I can actually transmit directly from one machine to the other simply by touching them um, a web page or a YouTube video. So what I'm going to do is bring up a web page. Oops. All right, so it comes up with this page here. So it's going to render that. And just say I'm with someone and I just want to give them that page so they can look at it later on. So we, what we're going to do is turn on NFC or near field communication on both machines and also have Wi-Fi direct. Those two combined gives you S-Beam. So I'm going to turn this around while it's on. I'm then going to put this on top. And it says to me, simply touch the beam. I feel like I'm playing with a deck of cards here. Bang, it's gone. I put the one back down and we should have the web page right there. There you go. Now it's actually used Chrome to open this and that's why the uh, flash um, banners aren't working there. But you can see right away, very easy to transfer information across from one to another. Um, and NFC is going to become more popular and you can see why. It's very simple to be able to move information around from phone to phone. All right, well, that's a quick look at uh, the differences and a couple of commonalities between uh, Android uh, Jelly Bean and Android Ice Cream Sandwich with TouchWiz. As always, we'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments area below. Please share this video with your family and friends. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Until next time.